All right, let me do this voting, and then I think we're going to do a BRD run. Uh, all right, so I'm going to vote on my favorite games. Um, a lot of these I have zero actual valid input, but favorite games of the year. Best eSport. I actually don't know. I again, I I feel like I'm Street Fighter. I like watching Street Fighter, and I don't even play it. Best mobile game again, Hello Kitty. Big fan. Best music, Baldur's Gate. Actually, you know what? Nah, it's Baldur's Gate, but I'm biased. All these others, all these games have actually crazy good music. I didn't even play Tears of the Kingdom. But Final Fantasy, like, if we're talking just music, it might be Final Fantasy. And Hi-Fi Rush is, like, about the music. I'm still giving it to Baldur's Gate, personally. Best narrative, Baldur's Gate. Best art direction, <sighs> I actually don't know. I didn't play Alan Wake. I didn't play Liza P. I didn't play Hogwarts Legacy, so... <laughs> I'm almost thinking Final Fantasy, though. If we're talking just art. I feel like it's actually crazy, like, the, uh, just in general. BG3 is, like... I mean, you're not playing it for, like, the art, necessarily. I guess you have some cool fan art and whatnot. It's, all, it's a top-down game. Like, what do you expect from it? Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to give it to Final Fantasy there. Best speedrunning game. <laughs> yeah, I have such terrible input on this. Super Mario, I guess. I, I don't know. Uh, most addictive. Didn't play. Well, I do play it. Didn't. Hollow Cure, I didn't play. Star Rail, I don't. These are gotcha games, I think. So I don't really care. I mean, these top three are so good. Dark and Darker had a time. It's kind of iffy right now. Everyone's kind of like, all right, time to finish the game. You know, they're... I don't care for the balance patches anymore. I don't, like, fucking bring out the Druid class. Like, let's get the actual game going. But before we reached that peak where we were all fucking waiting, um, it was really fucking addicting. Wow, Classic is addicting because I have my guild. I'm biased. I'm going to go Baldur's Gate. If I wasn't a streamer, that'd be it for sure. Best community. Um, I know Deep Rock, their Rock and Stone is actually hilarious. And the thing is, like, in comparison to these other games, Deep Rock, Deep Rock Galactic isn't, like, some crazy big team or anything, and their community is very strong. Same with Dark and Darker, though. The Wall. But Baldur's Gate community is also just really awesome. Probably because it's a lot of older people involved. I'm going to go Baldur's Gate again. Game of the Year, Baldur's Gate. I'm just... Game that changed games. Baldur's Gate. I don't think we've seen the effects yet, but I think we will. Uh, gaming moment of the year. Baldur's Gate 3 Bear Sex. Chris Metzen returning to Blizzard. Angry Bird wins Evo. Echo Guilds race world first. Faker winning worlds. Forsen beating the record. I actually don't know what's going to win this. I think Chris Metzen. That was big for me. I'm going to get Chris Metzen returning. 
That was pretty cool. Most anticipated. Uh... I am mostly anticipating Hades 2 over everything else here, honestly. Stream game of the year. Uh, I mean, of the year? It's hard to really think back. God, it, it, my stream's going to be so biased right now for WoW, obviously. I'm going to go wow. Content creator of the year. Co-Carnage, Kai, Ludwig, XUC. I don't know who Jinxie is. Some Rainbow Six guy in Kai Day. I'm going to go Co-Carnage. He deserves an award. I don't care about anything else. Uh, best indie action. Blasphemous 2. Battle Bit. I'm going to go Brotato, actually. I think Brotato was the best out of these, for me at least. Uh, best Indie Adventure. Is Lethal Company an adventure? Feels more like a rogue. I, I guess, in a way, it kind of is. Sure. BG3 is Indie? I guess technically it is. Technically, yes. It's not. Uh, BG3 is indie. They publish it themselves. They are independent. People's understanding of what indie actually is is skewed. But I understand the confusion. I get it. People's, they hear indie and they think, oh, a team of three people with no money and no success ever. First game they ever make. Like, that's kind of how they hear indie. But it is an independent developer. They are an independent developer. So, technically, yes. Do I think they should be in this category? Again, I see the confusion. I, I'm torn on it. But it's going to win. So, it's pretty much just given. Uh, best indie roguelike. Darkest Dungeon 2. Back, ooh, backpack here. Fuck. And Wall World? Fuck. And Halls of Torment? I don't care about Hollow here. Darkest Dungeon 2. I prefer one. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna go Dome Keeper. I like don't fuck backpack here would be next. Wall World's also really good. But I prefer Dome Keeper over Wall World. Backpack Hero is very different. Also Torment's also good. Dome Keeper's great. I love that game. Let's go Dome Keeper. Tough pick there. Best indie RPG. Ooh. Slay the Princess. I played that recently. That was pretty unique. Sea of Stars is apparently insanely good, and I have not played it. Core Keeper is also sick. Last Epoch is like a Diablo-ish game. I'm, I don't care. I don't know what a door is. Dredge was cool, too, and pretty unique. But it's going to be between Sea of Stars and Core Keeper. I'm going to go Core Keeper. Best Indie Shooter. Oh, Voidborn. I played Voidborn. I think you gotta go battle bit here. Tree Pang was sick. Also, RoboQuest was a sponsored game I did recently. That game's actually really good. Probably one of the best sponsors I've done. Like, I'm usually... If I'm sponsored to play a game, I'm usually not actually into it. I was into this game. Um, but Battle Bit, even though I didn't care for it, I mean, there's a reason why everyone knows it. Best Indie Strategy. Thronefall, oh, Thronefall is also sick. 
Oh, I'll... Oh, wait. This one's hard. Wait, this is hard. For the King 2? I haven't even gotten to play it yet. I feel so bad. The devs were like... They were excited for me to play the game. Um, because they love watching me play For the King 1. I think because no one else was streaming it at that point. It was like five years after the game was made. So, I was still the only one playing it. So, they were excited to see me play For the King 2. And then I didn't. Because, wow came out or wow only thanks happened i feel bad uh but i told them they understand either way i never played for the king 2 so i don't know if i should give it a vote yet played up is fucking awesome and they do updates all the time uh i'm pretty sure they just did a thanksgiving update um i'm sure there will be a christmas update or patch it is getting it is really fun throne falls also sick and then Backpack Paddles is also awesome. I don't know. This is hard. <laughs> I don't want to pick any of these. I'm going to go Played Up because it's the one I played the most. Simple as that. Oh, I wish I played these two more. I wish I got to play this one, but... Uh, best indie game of the year. Oh, this is a big fucking reward. I think Dark and Darker. No, I guess it's kind of weird because like Baldur's Gate 3 is technically an indie game. So it should be here. But I guess when they were making it, they didn't want to have Baldur's Gate literally win Game of the Year and Indie Game of the Year. So it's probably in Best Game of the Year. I think it was, right? I already voted for it, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like they were, like, torn as well when making this list on, like, where should they put it? Because it is technically Indie. But it's the best. I don't, it's, it's weird. I, I don't know how, I don't know. Yeah, indie doesn't mean pixel art. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Either way, let's just keep going. All right, best action. Uh, Armored Core I didn't play Hi-Fi Rush and Spider-Man I did not play but I did play these three and out of these three if we're going to go action it's Final Fantasy Best Adventure Baldur's Gate Best RPG Baldur's Gate Best Shooter I don't know. I actually don't know. I guess Apex, because Nick plays it. Best strategy. Baldur's Gate. Is that all of them? I think that's it. Yeah, obviously you're going to disagree with a lot of my opinions, but that's the whole point. Uh, if you guys want to vote yourself, all of these votes are going to heavily matter. Um, more than you think. A lot of people don't fucking vote, so if you would like to vote, it's going to probably matter. Uh, hold on, I got to fill out stuff so I can submit. Cool. Thank you. Your votes have been received. Awesome. Cool. Not going to be a show when Baldur's Gate wins everything? Yeah, I, I can't wait to potentially go up there. Baldur's Gate 3! I got to get... I got to practice saying Baldur's Gate 3. Over and over again. 
Best music. Baldur's Gate 3. <clears throat> Bald Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> All right. Baldur's Gate 3. Hmm. <clears throat> Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> All right, let me invite Vicky here.